Investigators believe four Henderson County teens accused of raping a teenage girl may have photographed the acts. Deputies say those pictures could be key evidence in the case. They are now pleading with the public to turn over any images that may still be out there. According to search warrants and the rape victim statement, East Henderson High School football player Tyler Guerin called the victim and invited her over to his house. Fellow player Matt Bishop picked her up and took her to Guerin's home, where Wes Ponder and Vinnie Curto were also. They consumed alcohol, and the victim says she passed out. She came in and out of consciousness, finding Bishop, Guerin, and Ponder having sex with her in that order. She also claims she was clothed before she passed out the first time. The warrant goes on to say that all three teens admitted to the sexual encounter but claimed it was consensual. Investigators say Garen and Ponder admitted using their cell phones to take naked pictures of the victim without her permission. The pictures were shared with students at East Henderson High School while school was in session. They also texted each other about the sexual encounter. They also admitted to erasing the text messages before their phones were turned over to law enforcement. The warrant states Curto turned over his cell phone when he was interviewed and that an iPod and cell phones were seized from the others, including any text messages, pictures or videos. Garen's father is a Henderson County deputy, but has been cleared of any involvement. And anyone with information is asked to call the Henderson County Sheriff's Office at number 828-697-4911.